In just a few weeks, Old Dominion and Norfolk State will face off on the basketball court for the first time at NSU in 52 years. Fans were disappointed to learn only a thousand people would be allowed to watch in person, but what a difference a week makes. Now, 1,000 seems like a packed house. Connor Real explains. This is what Eccles Hall sounds like during a November practice for the Norfolk State Spartans. Those Sonics may not be much different on game day for the months of November and December, with NSU announcing no spectators for its non-conference games. I think that you know, it feels like every game is going to be a scrimmage. A certain number of essential personnel, as well as family and friends of players and coaches, will be allowed in. Head coach Robert Jones on home court advantage or the lack thereof. No one's going to be intimidated by 100 people in a 5,500 seat, you know, arena. Fans can purchase streaming packages, $50 for the season, $10 for individual games, and $15 for a men's and women's doubleheader. As for Coach Jones, his style won't change. I think I'm just going to coach the game the way we, you know, the way I normally coach the game. Like, the fans don't have anything to do with, with that. And he's hopeful for the reevaluation coming in January. I think the whole world is hoping that this thing hits some kind of, you know, downward curve and uh, we could return to some sense of, of normalcy, um, you know, in the, in the very near future. So we hope that, you know, when it comes conference play, we'll be able to get a thousand fans in here. Elsewhere in the 757, Hampton University will have no fans at home games for their season. Christopher Newport is still unsure whether they'll have a season at the Division Three level. And Old Dominion has not yet released a plan for attendance. And William & Mary has announced no spectators at their home of Kaplan Arena either. In Norfolk, I'm Connor Real, 13 News Now.